Hi, welcome back to the organizing tip of the day. I have really exciting news. My husband has been working on my website. So we just have to like find someone to host it, I guess. And uh, we're good to go. I'm sure there'll still be some kinks to get out. But now I have a place for all my principles to be like hosted out in cyberspace. So no offense, not that I don't love emailing all of you guys. <laughs> my chore lists and daily schedules and daily calendars every day <laughs> but it'll be nice to just say just go to my website and download them and print them off and of course I'm gonna steal lots of other people's printables and have so many free printables so I'll let you know when that's up and running I'm totally geeked about it it looks really pretty speaking of pretty look at my binder of course we're still doing binder systems and this is Izzy's binder system. I got this idea from Christine McKay from K. McKay Designs. She is a god and I love her and you'll find her here on YouTube. I'm sure I've favorited some of her videos so you'll just look at my favorites and you'll find her. She's awesome. So I made a time capsule and then I also did this book. And the reason I did this book is because so part of me feels like you're supposed to scrapbook because it's like your kids' memories and, and, and some of you guys out there are amazing scrapbookers. I've checked out, I've creeped your blogs, I'm like, oh my god, you have so much talent. I not so much. I don't have so much talent, but I still want to capture the memories. So I love the idea of this book. And I made one for Abby too, but this is Abby's book. Not a scrapbooker. <laughs> I like it, but I suck. At it so it's just a piece of paper slid inside with some stickers on it and it's her school year so what it has is the about me section you can print all of this off for free at K McKay designs and I'll also put it on my blog at clutterbug.me and when I have my website you can just print it off the website so it has her stats for the beginning of the year so it has um her height how much she weighed her shoe size her pants size the number of teeth that she's lost which is none her best teacher, her best friend, hi, one second, um, her favorite book, her favorite movie, her favorite show, basically just all her favorite food, all her favorite things, right? And I also just typed up this what she can do at four. So I'm totally geeked about that. All the things that it says Izzy is for every day she learns even more. So these are all the things that she could do. I don't know. She might want to know when she has a kid one day. Or you look back and I'm like, oh, at four she could already, you know start reading some certain words so I'm totally geeked about that and then I have a what did I learn today what cute thing did I did I do or say where I'm gonna write down that sort of thing and then we come here and I have a spot for all her school report cards in here and then it says my highlights and I love love this part of the book so again this is from K McK designs it all came together and it just has um, what's your favorite part of school today? So we write the date. I don't do it every day, but if she tells me a story about school, um, you know, whatever, her first day of school, and then it was meet the teacher day, and I just write a little note or a funny story that she's told me about school, so I don't do it all the time, but um, yeah, I don't, I don't have that many in there, <laughs> but probably once a week I'll put in a little something in there, so I love that. And then we have school pictures, and I also opted to put some other pictures in this section, because I don't have a scrapbook going on, but it makes me feel a little bit better. And if I ever do do a scrapbook, there's no reason why I can't have pictures in here as well. So I just have pictures of her first day of school, and then her fourth birthday, and, I'm, and I printed some more, so I'm going to put some more pictures in here. I have her class picture in here, and then her school pictures in here. So then we have the My Field Trip set. Um, section. This is all from k k Designs. I didn't do any of this. All the stuff I just printed off. And so she drew, she went on a field trip to the Children's Safety Village, so she drew a little picture and told me the story and I wrote it down about that. And then we have the My Artwork section. So in this section, I just use the clear plastic sleeves to keep all her artwork that she's done in JK. So, um, I'm loving it. In the back, I just put all her old newsletters. I keep the current one in my family planner, but the older ones I hold on to. I don't know why, but I do. But here, it's only a one-inch binder, and it holds so many awesome memories. It's more journaling than scrapbooking, because I just don't have time. But it's kept in the kitchen, so when she gets home from school, I clean out her backpack. If she's got some beautiful artwork, I either put it on the fridge or I slide it right in here. She tells me about her day, I write a little note in here, 
um, if she's got some pictures or whatever, I put them right in here. So I love this because it's a memory keeper. And it's right in my kitchen. And I also made one for my two-year-old as well. So love this binder. Totally recommend doing it if you have school-age kids. It's a great way, first of all, to store all their artwork, to put their school pictures, to put their report cards and keep on to them forever, but also do a little bit of journaling that they will appreciate when they're older. Hopefully. I'll appreciate it when they're older and gone and moved out and I can go through my binders. <laughs> That's your tip of the day. We'll see you next time.